is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. Because I just went gay all of a sudden. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. There is no racial bigotry here. Here you are all equally worthless. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. General, would you care to step outside? Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. And it gives you the option now. Now it's like... Um, recording in progress, by the way. Yeah. Maybe does it's just that, Does that go on the actual recording? Do you hear that? No. No, we yeah, it, it's a separate, I, I, no, it's a separate track. I deleted it. It actually gave, I, I went to look oh, at the tracks shit. and it's normally the three of us. There was a fourth track and I clicked on it. It was like two seconds. Now this meeting is helping. So I could have put it on there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really Wait, wait. Now. Watch this. Watch this. I can put it wherever I want. Take it out. This meeting is being there recorded. Is. That's crazy. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Just based on the voice, I do it. If I wasn't single, excuse me. If I was yeah. single, <laughs> I know. So, no, shut up. No, no, no. no, no. Mira, mira, mira. Calmados, calmados. Calm down for a second. Okay. okay I know okay. it sounds crazy. Look, I'm just saying that uh, the, the little voice, the is, is the little digital, but you know what I'm saying. A couple of cuervos. You know what I'm saying. You know, good times. Good times. Okay. So. so- so then you have to tell me who is sexier, uh, the Zoom recording yeah. automated voice lady or Siri? Oh. Well, it depends on what, what accent you have <laughs> on that, because there's all different accents. I have the Australian Siri. And Siri's got like that, that librarian intellect, you know what I'm saying? Like the sexy librarian. He's like, hey. <laughs> I kind hey, of find Siri, it almost, it's tell, almost tell, tell, tell me a second. <laughs> Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, how, how do you how do you talk to her? Did you okay, forget so- your, your Siri anniversary? <laughs> You're pretty pissed off at me too, yeah, right? Well, you know. Do you guys remember uh, when the GPS for the car first came out, like Tom Tom and Tom Tom? Yeah, 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 Tom-tom. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And you could get different voices, and I think like at one point you could get Star Wars voices, and you could get Burt Reynolds and Christopher Walken Dude, as the voice. Vampire had this demon yes. voice that was crazy mm-hmm. on his. Right. So you could get like Christopher Walken left in front of you you know but i had one and i didn't pay for any of the extra voices but i'll tell you what i had it on the american female voice and i had to change it and i changed it to the british female voice because the accent just helped make it not seem like my fucking wife was in the car nagging me (laughs) (laughs) i would like put it on the regular voice and i would get instantly angry and then the australian voice i was like okay okay computer i I understand. You're just trying yeah, to help. Could you could you imagine the, the regular voice is like in 500 feet, make a left, and you miss it. It's like you fucked up again. We're gonna be late to my mother's house. In the next well, 500 feet, make another left. If it were my wife's voice giving directions on the tom tom, would be like, make a left up there. <laughs> Stop. It's like well, it's, 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 up there. it's the same thing as what just you want for dinner over there. Just draw it over there. See it. See right there where the car's It's like three up? or four uh, lefts. Which is it? Three or four lefts. <laughs> Three or four. You know, my my wife is really good. She doesn't comment on my driving at all. I am the fucking polar opposite. And Saturday, I almost <laughs> got removed from the car because she was driving. You are a side um, seat driver. I I totally am. You totally are. I'm just I'm looking in the mirror on my side too, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And she's like, I got this, and she had it. She's a good driver. She's. I mean, it's it's inexcusable what I do, but I fucking do it, and I just I can't explain it. <laughs> well, on it's that man note, logic, it's man, it's man logic. It's it's 100 man logic. We all do it. Uh, you have a penis, well, you do it. I'm just saying. That's true. Welcome to the locker room, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom. I'm Matt. Yeah, you usually go for it before I do. Yeah. I know, but you CBC fucked me up the, other, the other the last time because you but, went. But we went it... back to the regular thing. No. I mean, there's been like 100 episodes and then 99.9% of them, it's Thomas. Hey, hi, I'm Thomas. Hello, I'm Matthew. And then I say something like, hello, I'm just fucking here for the fucking giggles and laughs. I don't know what to tell you, man. I fucked up. 
I know. You, I know. I know. What are I'll we be drinking better. tonight? I'll be better. I'm drinking oh. um, some ice cold water. Oh, I'm back. I'm back on my. I'm back on my bullshit routines. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, drinking fizzy, fizzy bubbly. It's fizzy bubbly. Uh, fizzy bubbly. What do you <laughs> have? Is that? that a fucking Bud Light? Don't tell no, me. No, 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 no. Fuck Bud Light. you. Bud no, like, oh, him. what oh, is that? What the fuck is that? Huckleberry lemonade. Huckleberry lemonade. This is a uh, yeah. Is this, this the Idaho is a thing? Dessert, dude. It is huckleberry lemonade uh, with vodka distilled in Spokane, Washington, and okay. it is it is vodka I, with huckleberry lemonade in a can. It is the scissor right here. <laughs> like, I, I I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I'm too beaner to know anything that you just said. I it literally <laughs> it, you, you started you started describing that, and as you started describing, I'm like I'm paying attention. I'm like meter meter meter. Right? Mira. No, I was like, no, it's like no, 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 no. a margarita. Okay, only okay, okay. They juice but, lemons instead uh-huh. what's of the lemon huckleberry oranges, part? and then it's like the the huckleberry. She is like what, the, see, that's, where you, that's where you, that's where you that's lost where you, me too. And you I'm don't like, know what a huckleberry is? It's like a raspberry. What? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. no. Yeah. Huck- <laughs> no, is that a real thing? Is no. that's an actual fucking no. berry? It's called no. a huckleberry. Uh, it's actually no. a no. yeah, like huckleberry fin is named after the huckleberry. No, and listen, yeah. they grow wild up here. It's a big thing. I got huckleberry syrup in my pantry right now. No, mira, mira. Huh. You uh, said I'm going having this delicious lemonade. Charlie Brown's teacher. It's the business. And I was like, ¿Qué pasó? No entiendo. No, <laughs> no sé lo que pasó. <laughs> okay, so you still owe me a translation, you Spanish speaking motherfucker. Wow. The fucking bird. The fucking bird. Wow. bird. Wow. We've been waiting oh, on pins and oh, needles oh, oh, for the okay. damn bird. Okay, I post. I sent this bird like like it's a parrot, and it's just walking on the tile kitchen floor like it ain't no thing. It's, what it's and doing? Its owner um, speaks Spanish to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, first yeah, he yeah. covers his feet up with the towel when the parrot comes in, which leads me to believe that that parrot has priors for right. fucking pecking at his feet or something. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, he's got a fetish. He's got a fetish. He's, yeah, he's, he's got a, fetish? a whole fucking. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's something so, that he. That's something so that the, the guy what's mentioned. What's the rundown? Do the do the uh, the Wait, so should college I play the audio? digest version. Yeah, play the audio. Play okay, the audio. So let me see if I have the audio here. Man, whenever you I'm try to do this, you start the audio away from the mic. I know, I know. I'm. That's why I'm trying to get commit. It all commit. Dialed eat the dick. Right eat now. the okay, dick. Here Put we go. the phone next to the dick. Because people got fetishes, right? I. What? Give us all. Hmm? Monday. 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 Hmm? Oh. Si, ya fui a trabajar. Just actually came back from work. Work today? I heard trabajo. I heard trabajando. So, okay, so the the bird. Fuck, this is fucking hilarious. By the way, the laugh, the 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 Hispanic dad laugh. That he does, <laughs> um, so good. It's so it's actually the 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 bird is mimicking somebody's one way um, phone conversation. So it's like either the dad or the mom has this random standard conversation with because it, it's not like how can I explain it? It's a one way conversation. It's not like you don't get the responses from the bird as well. You're getting like what random right. it's, it's like the bird Hispanic is just mom repeating chit-chat. one half of a conversation that it doesn't yeah yeah, yeah. Understand. It's, it's a con- okay. yeah it's a conversation that that you always uh that you just have this person automatically has so he asked like did you just come back from work did you work first of all the bird asked if he was drunk <laughs> i heard that i heard that so the, the bird's like are you doing the bird's like are you, you liquored up and it wasn't like, it wasn't even like a proper are you are you intoxicated the motherfucker's like hey hey mira are you, are you liquored up? You know what I'm saying? You've been boozing a little bit? A little in the sauce? So, yeah. And Wait, then which, co- which parrots learn by repetition. So somebody repetition. has said that in that house enough times for the goddamn parrot to pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno, look, I don't look. Bueno, bueno. Look, I, I don't want to put my people out there, but we're known for a little too much tequila and cerveza after a long, hard day of work of being oppressed by you. <laughs> it helps the, the cerveza helps to wash the oppression down i'm just saying yeah, with our <laughs> huckleberry lemonade i i i get wah 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 lemonade 
I'm, a, I'm seriously gonna look this this thing up. Uh, okay, he, uh, here's all fucking hatched chilies. In, in in this part of Texas and Austin, I was fucking amazed. Um, it's all everything is fucking hatch chili, like hatch just hatch chili and fucking turkey burgers, and fucking tacos. Are those the big Mesa. fucking green ones that they roast? They, in the, yeah, in yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they big drum like, fucking smoker thing, right? So they like look they like do outside of uh, Vallarta out here. Uh, by the way, I like how you drop the accent. I, me and my people appreciate. I try, you. I try, I try. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do I figure not if the newscasters do it all the time hey. when they say their own name, the least I can do. I'm just saying, this is Linda Alvarez. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, this is like <laughs> super so whitewashed you know, the entire right. time until she said so, her name. Good evening, Los Angeles. Today in Los, downtown Los Angeles, we had a shooting, and I'll get back to you more than 11. Reporting for uh, Channel 5 News is Roberto Hernandez per- Federico Manuel. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Nailed it. <laughs> See you at 11. So tonight, what we-, we have... Uh, we have a potential shit show brewing. Oh yeah, Let's just talk. There's about no that potential about it. There's no. Right. We are on the fucking. No, I'm. Car I'm, I'm going to be Johnny we on the are, spot uh, with the buttons already going. I'm going uh, to push help buttons. Hundred miles an hour. It's going to be great. And they can hear us. Oh yeah, yeah. this we, whole time we, we figured it. This whole time, we, this whole time, Matt, Matt made mm-hmm. it so they can hear us this whole time, and they're sitting there with bated breath. We're going to go one at a time. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so here's the deal. I I know we already talked to one of our guests about what to call him, but um, just by uh, the other three guys, by nodding your what? Just introduce yourselves. You know, it's like, hey, come on in. Hey, welcome to the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll 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 let you you introduce yourself. And also change your name on the screen now to what you want to be called. No, (laughs) just we'll remember. (laughs) We'll remember. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. And by the way. I'm not going to remember if you call yourself Skippy McButterbean. <laughs> no, that one I would remember. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What was that? What was that guy who went into, the guy that went into court via Zoom? But fucker 3000. Fucker 3000. But fucker 3000. That yep. guy's legend. And the judge is all, what's your name? He's like, Joe, <laughs> Joe Santini. Oh, so it's not but fucker 3000. <laughs> the fact that the judge said it was everything, too. And well, then that he judge was like, there is never a day in my career where I, where I will ever get to utter butt fucker 3000 yep. in court again. So I'm doing it right now. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so I do you uh, do we want to play round robin or do we want to just start in alphabetical order? What do you what do you think? Should we just take them? Because I don't know how they appear on your screen. It's probably different than it appears on my screen. Well, I have a gentleman in a blue shirt below you. Oh, but see, I'm in the middle below you. So me. it's all, yeah, I, see, it's all, this see, is, we see, for me, it's, it. so, we shouldn't even see, it's that. below me. So it doesn't matter. All right. right. Hey, let's just go by uh, alphabetical. Alphabetical uh, according name? to. Uh, to the first name is the Well, no, because I thought we were going to bring the two that know each other in on the same time. See, this, okay. this is, we're making okay, it a stop, shit stop, show. Stop, stop, we're stop, making stop, it a shit show. That's it. Hey, blue shirt, go. Go. Okay, hold on. Wait, I got to hit the button. I got to hit the button. Here it is. Here, Here's a shit show. Here, and it begins. No way. See, now I have to. I asked him to unmute and now he has to unmute himself. That's how it okay. fucking works. I don't fucking make the fucking program rules. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Dakota, is it? Yes, it's Dakota. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, if, if if it's already off to this start, I don't hold out a whole lot of hope for landing this fucking plane. No, 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 we're not landing. We're crashing. <laughs> yeah. We're falling with style. It'll be fine. I- I, I completely get it. You, if you knew where I worked, you would. This is this is nothing compared to where I work. <laughs> can you, are can you, you at can, your work? Can you right tell now? us? Can you tell us the no. field of work that you do? Okay, uh, not where because it looks you're like, like you're at a preschool. It really um, does. <laughs> this is this is actually my kitchen because with COVID, my wife decided to homeschool school our four kids. So ah, okay. I, I live in a school a one room schoolhouse now. Sure. Okay, uh, nice. but I'm a diesel tech. So, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We have, we have techs ranging anywhere from just turned 20 to in their seventies. So, All right. and you, what's, you, what's your age? Just so everybody knows I'm 30. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so are... 30 that, so yeah. So for, for it's... everybody who doesn't know what's going on, we had some, uh, disgruntled millennials reach out to us to, <laughs> That's right. um, you know, kind of trash talk the the stereotypical millennials uncle kyle's as i believe uncle kyle's uncle kyle i fucking love it 
Yeah. Uncle Kyle's and Aunt Karen. You must have been you must have been scissorped up that night because we came up with that on the show. That, was that was oh, that we night did when I, that's right was, we did yes yes we no that was right the night when i I'm like oh shit we did that was the <laughs> night when i ate the wrong fucking um edible i think <laughs> could have been i think it was okay so dakota you're a diesel a diesel engineer tech i'm a diesel a, tech i, diesel I tech. work on okay. semis yeah okay got it okay so so if it's, I ever it's, hold on a second, hold on a second. you're knocking the diesel truck it's pretty call you, you hold on hey guys gotta give him his deal it's pretty fucking manly that is pretty manly. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's not, hold on a second. It's not as manly as building a log cabin with your bare hands or, you know, wrestling a bear or gang raping. Wait, what? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 too wait, 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 I built houses. I worked on a 50,000 acre ranch. I'm a diesel tech. I mean, you know, I, I, I've, I've done things. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, are so already it, shattering the, the yeah, absolutely. Stereotype, stereotype, yeah, millennial. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, so we got a, are you, hey, um, so I see a, a lot of different jobs, including construction. Are you my people? <laughs> <laughs> you worked on a farm i mean hold on a second this motherfucker worked construction and worked on a farm you know what i'm saying like i'm just yeah. a suspect suspect uh when i was a, uh, I mean when i was little bitty uh my dad ran a roofing crew and i'd run around on top of the roofs i was six years old the first time i fell off a roof you're so, getting I mean, more and more <laughs> latin hispanic as, right. as I mean, all you gotta tell me is that you worked at a strawberry farm and it's, it's done <laughs> <laughs> so it's done. and and i'm irish and native american or indian i mean I grew up that in explains Minnesota, it but, you know that explains it yeah yeah the it's irish the Nick in them. It's, the, it's that <laughs> hard working irish hey Man, so you love alcohol, but then you're Native American, so you just can't tolerate it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so true. The first and only time I got drunk off whiskey, I threw my little brother through our front door. Come again? Off the first floor? No, through our front door. Oh, okay. The, front door. the, wow. the well, door didn't open when he hit it. He went through it physically. That's amazing. I decided mm-hmm. never to drink whiskey again. Good call. So he, so, <laughs> did, so, did you go directly to Jägermeister afterwards? Because I know you people love you oh. some Jäger. Yeah, I I can drink Jäger. Um, I can drink tequila, but I got in trouble and with all tequila. That stuff. Yeah, no. I, I, I got in Suspect. trouble, so now I just stick to beer. I just stick. To By beer. the way, I think your parents missed a huge opportunity not naming you Running Bear O'Toole. <laughs> oh that is that is <laughs> oh boy so so how did you your diesel tech you you how did you find us and then how did you listen to the show and how did that whole come about for you to tell us that you don't identify as a typical or a stereotypical uh millennial as opposed to an uncle Kyle who hates most millennials or people their own in their own generation so uh, a guy I work with, he started listening to the War Stories podcast. And with me being a firefighter for 10 years, he knew that I might be interested in it. So I jumped in on the War Story podcast. I want to say around episode four or five, like right oh, at on. the very okay. beginning. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so, you know, as soon as the Locker Room podcast came out, I just you know, well, it pops up on my phone. I'm just going to continue on listening to it. And I've always, you know, I've always liked it and everything. And then whenever the whole millennial thing came out and, you know, I, I can't stand millennials. I mean, it, I'm a millennial, but I can't stand them. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's two categories to millennials. There's the first half and there's the second half. And I borderline on that first half being born in 90, you know, I'm kind of right there at that cutoff. And I've, I work with millennials that are in that second half. And in my field, we're okay, but I've seen and had to deal with a lot of the millennials that make me want to fight them. Just, just fight them because <laughs> it, it would be easier. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably that's, would. That's, I, that's I, that I, Irish blood talking. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he said, too. 
he, he said that and we had some some straight fucking head nodding from a couple of the other guys over there waiting <laughs> yep. to talk to us too. They're just yep, like they're, they're I, I feel like there's too. some fucking some raps are going on right now and you know oh I mean god this this may get that a little bloody. I like it. So so then before we, we bring in our next guy, uh why don't you tell us what is it that you think if you could boil it down to what you think about the people of your own generation that you can't stand, what is it that number one is the top of your list? Not, you know, there can be more things, but just like first thing that comes to mind, what is it that really bugs you? The fact that most everybody in my generation thinks that everything should just be handed to them. Thinks that Mm -hmm. the world should be handed to them on a silver platter and they should do nothing to deserve it or do anything to deserve it. All right. That's solid. Yeah. All yeah. right. That okay. entitlement well, generation. How about, let's see, we've got, uh, uh, we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with story next. next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll be back with you. Dakota. You going to, you going to hang out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll bring you back in a bit. All right. All right. So now, all right. Got so story. now I got to ask story to unmute. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. How's it going? Welcome to the podcast story. What's going on? I know we're using your last name because your first name is Matt and that's just going to get too confusing for me. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. understandable. <laughs> so um, you came into this show uh, or you, you were able to contact us, I guess, um, through the socials for the same reasons, right? You guys, right. you guys all kind of are uh, millennial hating millennials. What, what about you? Where are you from and, and how old are you and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm from about an hour east of Dallas, Texas, in a little bitty town. Uh, I work for a city around here, dig up water lines and sewer lines and stuff. And I'm 28, almost 29. That is that is some ditch digging work. That is hard work. Oh, always. I mean, I know they got like they got machines and stuff to help you, but d- you know, dick, ditch digging is still ditch digging, especially out yeah. in the Texas sun. Especially sewer lines. Uh, that could be a potentially really shitty job. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, I see what you help myself. There. I can't help I'm myself. So ashamed of you. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so for sewer lines, that means I mean, you're talking, you're digging, you're not digging water. like plumbing ditches. You're digging like well, drainage uh, ditches. No, it's uh, so like where your house drains in. We dig on the city side, so we're 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 reliable, which is. You know, usually from a sidewalk onto the middle of the street. But yeah, it can get pretty nasty. But it's been yeah. sitting for a while. Oh, oof. now so you do that for the city. Mm-hmm. It's yes, sir. so when mm-hmm. when the city's lines that are messed, messed up, up you yeah, get we to get go called in. And, oh man! Now, I would imagine, just like you know, Dakota said he's a diesel tech. Mm-hmm. Um, that you're a sewer worker for the city and a city job. I've had a city job. It's a, right. it's a decent job, right? Whoa, 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 right, whoa. Yeah. First of all, sanitation engineer. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, diesel technician, <laughs> sanitation <laughs> engineer. <laughs> yeah, That's this is be a sewage be engineer. Yeah, we're just uh, we're called uh, water utility operators. Okay. Nice. That sounds so tactical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh good. So you're you're in your late twenties, twenty eight, you said twenty nine. Yes, sir. I'll be twenty nine in October. And you got a good city job, which right. I'm guessing didn't take you a college degree to do it. It was probably some hard work and some trade school, maybe. Or uh, well, did you I just get an apprenticeship out of semester. high school. I went I went to college for a semester, and then I ended up uh, having a kid early, so that went to hell. And worked a few little odds and ends, and then I was working construction for my grandpa, and I just happened to apply, and they brought me in. No, nice. not, no experience. The only experience is what they've given me. I'll tell you nothing, nothing. Well, hopefully nothing uh, grows you up quick. Like bringing a tiny human into the world that you have to oh, parent and support. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It just, it, I, and I don't understand the people that I, I tell you this right now. I've got somebody that I know who is perfectly content to drop their child off at their uh, sister's house. And leave oh, them no, there for this. a week or two or three yeah. and then come back and visit for two or three days. And by the end of two or three days, the mother and the child are both tired of each other and ready to go back to where they're staying. Oh, yeah. Like, I just don't understand that kind of relationship with your kids. It just, well, I don't know. 
Well, my two keep me pretty busy. My uh, son is uh, plays uh, travel select baseball, and my daughter does a lot of gymnastics. So we're busy most nights of the week and on the weekends. Yeah, I'll bet. Especially, if, does this baseball team have to? Tra- it's a travel team. Oh yeah, and, all yeah. over Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah, that's a uh, hmm. travel team. Like you think sports are bad, like rec league, park league? No, mm-hmm. no. Try a travel team. Yeah. So, I, I oh, umpire little league baseball as well as a side gig, and oh, it didn't get bad. So now, uh, what is it you heard on the show? How'd you get it into the show, and how'd you start listening? And then, uh, how did you decide to send us a message about being a, a self hating millennial or a millennial hating millennial? Well, I found the podcast uh, probably right about when COVID hit because uh, uh, I just didn't have much to do. You know, we were still I working. You had time. <laughs> Yeah, we I mean we were still working, but uh we were only working half a day, half days. So I found it uh just look just looking around, typed in the war stories, just thinking I'd hear something, found y'all, and then I was hooked from there. I mean I'll listen twice a week whenever y'all put episodes out. Nice. Thanks for that, by the way. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's we we appreciate all the listeners. So how then what kind of caused you to say, you know what, fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to volunteer because I'm not like the rest of these idiots. Well, we, we've had players. several, we've had several kids from kids from my generation, you know, younger than me, about the same age. And, and they just, they don't, they don't breed work ethic no more. You know, my grandpa used to tell me if you ain't making money, you're spending money. And so I need to make some money. I like, I like that. Hold on. I don't want to gloss over that. Jerry said, you yeah. don't, they don't breed work ethic anymore. That's nope. amazing. Yeah. Uh-uh. Nope. These parents just want to let their kids do whatever. You know, I was raised on a farm. You know, we worked horses and cows and stuff. So it's just, I'm used to it. If I'm sitting at home, my ADD kicks in and I go, I go haywire real quick. Oh, man. Speak on it, bro. Speak on the same thing. Oof. And I'll tell you what, I like your grandfather's expression is you either make money or you spend money because even if you aren't spending money, you are spending someone's money. Yeah, you're either, you know, your right. electricity bill is going to be higher, water bill is going to be higher. You know, you, you end up going to the store, going out to eat. You know, I'd rather be working. Your, your porn hub yeah. bill is going to be higher. I'm just saying. Oh man, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm saying. If you've heard. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, allegedly, that's I mean, that's that's the word around town. I think I saw something on TikTok or something. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that shit was free. Which one? Yeah, it is on Reddit. Any of it? Like we're we we're old enough to remember when you had to. Um, you got steel for free Playboys and had to pay for from... porn, and now porn yeah. is free and you have to pay for water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I still remember the AOL days with the dial up. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, Ooh, yeah. Phone, you got kicked off, he was almost halfway downloaded, and you get kicked off the internet. <laughs> I, uh, not, not to sideline the conversation, but I, um, we had a little get together last, I think it was last weekend, <clears throat> or was, um, yeah, it was Memorial weekend because we got back here Sunday a little get together with the family in Arizona to celebrate the wedding. Cause we finally had the opportunity to get everybody together. And I have some, you know, a bunch of younger cousins, the, it's the Italian side of the family. So just the no. close side of the family, there was like 30 of us. Right. Cause God forbid you use birth control. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I played that sound for my younger cousins, the dial up sound. And I, I said, you know, does anybody know what this sound is? And they all looked at me like I was just speaking like in fucking tongues or something. Like nobody knew bonus points if somebody was. said it was the purge. <laughs> 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 but no, every single one of them was like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, you don't even know. You'd have to listen to this shit for five minutes sometimes before you can oh, even get on a spotty internet. Okay. You know what that was? Try to do it was something. a sound of it was a sound of a fucking prayer. That's what it was. It was yeah. a sound of a fucking prayer. Yeah. And then they had that really loud one at the end. And when you, yep. like, oh, when you yeah. finally did connect and stuff, I don't even want to. Yeah. Back now, in the LimeWire just... days. LimeWire. Oh, Lime oh Lime my Wire. God. I remember Fantastic. that. Yep. I saw a meme yeah. that said, kids today don't. It was a picture of the LimeWire logo and it said, kids today don't understand what it means to be willing to give your computer AIDS for a free download <laughs> of an album. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. That's going to be a good fucking song. <laughs> oh god what? that's hilarious so um you have a good job you have your own family you're supporting your own family it's no wonder why uh you 
look at some of these millennials and and get oh. a little uh, irritated with them. What would you say is your biggest issue? Man, it's got to be the work ethic, man. Nobody wants to work for anything. They just want to coast by and get shit for free. I, I can't yeah. do that. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, I'm not a millennial, but I'm just like, I would love to fucking coast by and get shit for free. I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm saying. I mean, we, we got people I, I, know, I, know, I know what you're saying, but you know, I'm, yeah. I'm But here's saying. the thing, Marco. If, if you would, if, if you had that money, you would still produce art because you would not be able to not do it, right? Well, if uh, I'm going to be real with you, I would still produce art or what I consider art, but I make it a little experimental. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I might like, I might fart on a, on, a, on a snare drum and record it and try to, you know, try to set it out there. <laughs> try to put the shit on download and Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? Because like, because at that point, like, fuck it. You know, it's like, okay, all right, you you gotta, okay, you gotta be. I guess you don't have to be a good tattoo artist, but I have to be a, a good tattoo artist to make uh to make a good living, right? That's just it. You can't be a hack ass motherfucker and, and and still and still do well for yourself. But but if it's one of those things where I won the lottery. Oh well, yeah. If you're so if you're forward. talking if you're talking fuck you money, then you're yeah, right. Then, if yeah. I'm like yeah. fuck you money, then I'm gonna produce fuck you random shit on my time off, like <laughs> like farting on a sand drum and recording and I'm putting it on fucking. See, my job would then be Apple. to become like a philanthropist. You know, that's one thing about but there's like how many billionaires in this world and not fucking one sure. of them is Batman, right? It, not one. Yeah. You let okay, me down. Difference between, okay, hold on a second. A let me down. You. Not one of you is Batman. Difference you know between what? being Batman and that's just a philanthropist. You know, no, here's like, the deal: you, you want to build a bat cave and get all the Batman. toys and the battery. You're, 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 you're gonna lose an eye. It's gonna happen. I got an idea. Lose an eye. I got. I got an idea. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. When we, when we feel like maybe the the dementia or the Alzheimer's is setting on. Have you not listened to the we podcast? Need, we need to. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go out and get a Batman suit. A legit one and hang it in yeah. your closet so once you get to that point you can just open the closet door and you can think okay fuck was i batman <laughs> oh man. and you will Hold remember on. and you'll convince yourself that you were fucking batman back in the day nipples you have an amazing day or no amazing no not nipple never suit batman and, and non-moving neck batman or moving neck batman because that shit was like that michael keaton yeah. Oh yeah, Michael Keaton. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he had tilty whiplash. back, and he's Michael the first Keaton one. Like, the best. And he's, he, I agree, but the, I mean, I feel bad for two things. One, he's the first one who gave us the fucking duck selfie. Because if you look at that movie, he's like he's doing the duck lips the entire, the entire way through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and that motherfucker was like, in order to, in order to look behind him and fight anybody, he had to move yeah, his yeah, entire did. body around. Mm-hmm. It was like mm-hmm. no one in wardrobe was like, hey, um. Fighting yeah. in those martial arts and it was always so awkward in the especially the looking up because there's a couple scenes where he's clearly oh, looking yeah. up and he just says a... yeah, yeah he has to tilt all the way back yeah. at the fucking hip and like almost yeah. follow anyway all right i'm sorry we're we, <laughs> what a fucking bar that's a hell of a fucking just don't, just don't bring up george clooney is that we yeah, yeah uh, no, what about that kid that the fucking sparkly vampire kid is gonna be uh I, isn't he gonna be the next Batman? you know what i mean Ben like Affleck was a good Batman, just, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna reserve judgment until I see this dude. Yeah, you know, okay. I'll just reserve judgment. You know, so. I, I I don't expect I get, you know, the old thing. If you set your expectations low, oh yeah, you're not gonna. Right. It's like a drunk. Yep. It's like Can't a drunken night at the bar. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> right? It's like a drunken night at the bar. You know, set them low, get really hammered, and then we'll see what happens. All right. Well, all, all right. right. So, so uh, let's uh, let's let story. You know what? Hang around to come back for the little round robin with your uh, aunt. You know your millennial friends. Uh, oh yeah, I'll, I'll stay okay. around for a little bit. Okay. All right. So um, we'll, uh, all right. Five thirty so think, comes early. Yeah. So I think <laughs> oh, Austin yeah. uh, Austin sent us a message first. Is what we're saying. So let's I guess bring Austin in if you can do that. Yeah. Do we want to do both at the same time or? Well, let's let Austin introduce Ted. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, Austin is need to introduce Austin and Ted know each other. I know, but you're just like, hey, let Austin introduce. Yeah. Oh, Ted, but that's fine. All right, guys. Austin, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? How you doing? What's going on? Hey, welcome to the going? show. Good, good. How are you? Uh, so, oh, you know. give us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? How old are you? Uh, my name is Austin. I am uh, 26. I currently work at a factory, and I drive forklift. Um, pretty much haul salad dressing back and forth to a like a semi truck 
and load so, it. So, have you ever had those moments where you just want to do like one of those fucking YouTube, uh, where you want to do like a YouTube video where you just fucking plow that, <laughs> plow that guy right into one of the corners of a uh, of the warehouse, like the the you know the racks, and just take the whole thing down. <laughs> I haven't had that <laughs> thought, but uh, I would. I have, I was, I'd had, be fired on my first day. <laughs> uh, I have had a thought of uh, just dumping it, <laughs> just completely dumping it. Mm-hmm. So, what was uh, what would you say as far as the forklift was concerned? Uh, um, <laughs> what was some of the wackiest, weirdest shit you guys? Because I know don't lie to me. Oh yeah, don't lie to me. <laughs> what was some of the yeah working in a warehouse wacky. around forklifts. Oh yeah. And I shenanigans will yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to know give me some of the shenanigans you fuckers doing your time off when you're on your on your downtime well it wouldn't be necessarily downtime we're on the clock mm-hmm. technically uh sure 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 we te- we better. uh we just sit around and do donuts <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just sit around do donuts. do donuts yeah yeah now, do you have um, forklift jousting so not much. that severe, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? I get a motherfucker for that. Get a motherfucker. I've always had this fantasy like, to see forklift jousting. I, I, but I, but I want to see a motherfucker like get dressed up in a fucking suit of, suit armor, of armor, made, but but made out of fucking like boxes. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the shipping boxes. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the most ghettoest fucking looking suit of armor, and just the slow. Mm, <laughs> the forklifts take forever because they're not that fast. Mm, no, Very some of those quick. fuckers are fast. You kidding me? That, we, that's why we, we you go say like forklift. Ten miles per hour. Uh, oh shit! In, that would run my yeah. fat ass over. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, 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 yeah, we yeah. go like ten miles per hour going in reverse. It's kind of sketchy sometimes. Yeah, I, that right. one video gives me the heebie-jeebies when you see the forklift start to tip over forwards. Oh and yeah, the, oh, the yeah. person oh, yeah. tries to grab it and lets go and falls face first, and the forklift drops on him. Oh yeah, it's terrible. I I can't like. Heavy machines. Ooh. All right. So how did you, so how did you uh, how did you get how did you get catfished by us? <laughs> Was that what we're doing? <laughs> I mean, look. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let, let's okay. be real about this because okay. it was was story and 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 Dakota were telling me about how they found the, the locker room podcast, especially Dakota. I felt like the duff. You know, what I'm saying he's like, oh, I checked out. You know, I was a firefighter, so I checked out. You know, the you know the the, the war story podcast. It came and from then the all war of a sudden. Stories. Right, right. Came for the war series, and all of a sudden, like, what's what's this? What am I being tricked into? Oh, oh, it's the it's the ugly fat friends just being funny. And, you know, maybe they, maybe they're charming. Maybe maybe they can suck a good dick. I'm I'm just saying. So, anyways, so I guess so. How did you get? How, so how did you find? How did you find the podcast? Well, initially, uh, my buddy Teddy, he's with us right now. Um, mm. He introduced me to the podcast. Uh, mm. He sent me like a a link to the one one of the firefighter. I think episodes episodes mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah and um it was about the wood chipper incident <laughs> oh that yes. was a good one <laughs> yes, the that, famous that, wood that, chipper that really uh just hooked hooked hook line and sinker. cheesecake yeah, oh, yeah. Right, well, why don't we uh since he's talking about teddy why don't we, we uh link yeah, let's uh, bring teddy, teddy, bring teddy we'll, we'll find out teddy, teddy found it so Austin, we'll go back to you and just, just stay with us. Obviously, we're gonna, yeah. I'm going to ask you about your. You obviously, give you the moment of ranting that you so well yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay. So Teddy, so obviously you introduced uh, and welcome. How you doing? How are you? Wait, yourself? did you just call this man Teddy without him? I, 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 okay I did. I call I'm, him I'm sorry. Teddy. Hey, you know what? It's fine. You know what? It's cool, man. It's over Zoom. I can talk shit. It's all, all good. Right. All right. <laughs> Keyboard, I'm, a, I'm, a key, I'm a keyboard warrior. The shit out of this. One. No, kidding. So Ted, <laughs> Ted, excuse me, Senor, Senor Ted. <laughs> What's wait? What, 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 what would Ted be in Spanish? Theodore. El Ted. Right. What is Ted? <laughs> El Ted. You just gotta El say Ted. Ted. You gotta cut. Is there a Spanish Ted. version of El Theodore? Ted. Uh, Ted. Uh, no. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I don't think so. Right. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay. I don't think so. So. All right. It's, it's, so it's El Ted. That's it. So El like Ted. El, El Ted. Okay. Right. El Ted. So El Ted, Senor Ted. Um, how did you come across the 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 locker room podcast? Excuse me, the the War Stories podcast. Because again, we've established the word of death. So hit hit me. <laughs> well, uh, I had a buddy uh, in the process of becoming a uh, state trooper, so I wanted to get more on the uh, like what it's like, and so I can like kind of relate, understand stuff that he's mm-hmm. going to be doing, and you know. So you were and trying you, to you get just, some you're, spy you're, intel. 
<laughs> you're like, I want to be able to share some stories with this motherfucker. So, and, and then like, I want to um, learn some of these acronyms and abbreviations. So when he tells me stories, I know what the fuck he's <laughs> I saying. I know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> no, so that's cool. Ted, I mean, that you were trying to get a better understanding of your friend. Yeah. I, uh, some of the stuff he was talking about, I didn't really understand it. So I just like mm-hmm. found the podcast and it explained a lot of stuff. I didn't know what Leo was. Oh, cool. <laughs> ah, Leo, yes. Yeah. Who's this Leo guy? Everybody Who's talks Leo? about. Who's Leo? I see him all the time. All these cops know somebody named Leo. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a really popular name. <laughs> so, uh, Ted, and what? Um, and if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? And what? Do you, what do you do? I'm 26, and uh, I'm in school full time, uh, becoming a software engineer. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm doing like uh, mm-hmm. odd app based work right now you're a hobo so. you're a hobo i understand you're a hobo yeah, i got it yeah. I, understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I got yeah, you what do you Nothing do when a philosophy major comes to your door nothing you pay him and you take the pizza <laughs> <laughs> And do you, do you two, <laughs> since you guys are buddies do you two live in oh shit proximity? i forgot to give the welding <laughs> disclaimer i'm sorry oh yeah oh, oh yeah hey yeah. stop welding yeah, yeah. go ahead <laughs> so austin see? and ted you two know each other yeah. Yes. Yeah. And do you totally live in like do you live in the same town or close proximity or are you same state or we, we used, used to. to. Uh I moved down to North Carolina to help my girlfriend uh find more job opportunities. She's a, a nurse. She okay. A job open down mm-hmm. here. Okay. But we we went to the same school since elementary school. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, so you guys are lifelong friends, kind of like the three of us. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And now you guys are this roughly the same age then. And uh, what is it that you guys hate about your own generation? What bothers you the most? And Cause Austin it's we'll interesting that the other two, the other two are, are more blue, blue collar. Austin, um, did, did you tell us what you're doing for a living? Yeah. He works yeah. at the warehouse with yeah. the, with yeah, the, the whole people. Oh, that's conversation. Right. Now, yeah. Who's the not fucking paying attention? Oh, hey, I'm ass. just, yeah. I'm getting yeah. them all confused. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So one is blue collar. And then Ted, I think you're the only, uh, like person finishing college for, I guess, a white collar type job with software engineer, which is a really good job nowadays anyway. So yeah, good on you. for sure. But all right. So Austin, the floor is yours. Hit us with what it is that you, uh, despise about the generation well i'm gonna go along the same line as the other two uh everybody's just lazy in my generation they just they just hate working it's just despicable to be honest (laughs) um uh they're either too worried about uh social media like uh trying to get attention or um trying to post shit on instagram or fucking twitter or whatever uh it just gets tiring sometimes yeah i noticed that with, within that age bracket the the mid 20s to to 30s if you know that especially more more so the women than the men but on like mm-hmm. instagram and whatnot like all their bios it's like entrepreneur and it's like no you're yeah. fucking not like you're not <laughs> you are not all fucking entrepreneurs okay seriously all the all the fucking people on instagram that put entrepreneur or uh put fucking influencer in their like mm. whatever that bio well, i think is. entrepreneur is now code for in- influencer yeah. like if you're well, 26 what? to 30 that's and... all like all the fucking waitresses in the 80s telling us they were actresses yeah that's still <laughs> going on man that's that's out, like, out here I'm in like the 80s <laughs> yeah around that here like, but now week? it's it's uh it's it's not only just like food servers um, that are the you know the struggling actors that are waiting tables, but uh, now it's it's dipped over into like the um, personal training or just a trainer at like, right? Like the gym that I go to, they're they're all, you know, waiting for the and one one guy got his big break and he's you know doing good now, but they're all like that's those are the two jobs in L.A. that if you if you're trying to become <laughs> an actor, you're either working <laughs> you're at a gym, a personal trainer, <laughs> yeah, you're or, working uh, at a gym, or you're working at a fucking business. restaurant, yeah, yeah. So you two uh, kind of. I mean, Austin, you've said that the, the work ethic and the laziness and stuff. Ted, is that about the size of it for you, or that's about it? But uh, the entitlement, just kind of like mm. the first guy said, you know, they feel like they are owed something. They're entitled to you accepting them for having values they don't agree with. You gotta. Now, when you guys were growing up, were you part of the participation trophy? 
Fuck yeah, that's where it started. Let's bring them all together. Let's bring them all together. Okay, but I think that's that's where the the millennial generation is where that started with the everybody gets a fucking everybody. There's the um you know stop keeping score on on some of the like you know team you know like like baseball games and whatnot. Yeah, we're not going to keep score because nobody's a loser. We don't want to call you a loser, and we're not going to give you Fs anymore. And you know because you're not a failure and you didn't fail and. Everybody gets a trophy because just by showing up, you've already won. And that now, did you guys experience that growing up? Was that part of? Uh, no, nope. either. You either win or you don't. Yeah. yeah well, I think, much. and also we should uh, full disclosure. We the, something else that has to be addressed is all four of these um, gentlemen are are not like city slickers. They're not from large cities. They're not like you know the the three of us were. Well, Marco a little bit later, but. Thomas and I, you know, born well. No, because I'm saying he started out. He no, started he's out, right. Yeah, first decade down, was in a yeah. small town. And... Yeah, but then you know, in in L.A., it's like one of the biggest. Cities. Oh yeah, and you know yeah, the definitely. the fact that we didn't get fucked up by that is you know good on our parents first of all. But um, everybody that we heard the from... tail end of a generation that didn't like. Like didn't I look at the generation before me, and I look at all the the later because it's got to be later baby boomers and or early Gen Xers that parented the millennials and stopped spanking and gave everyone a trophy it that's just by virtue of the fact it has to be them right right i i think it was but like so i grew up in missouri a very tiny town in missouri uh actually my my growing up was probably a lot like marco's before he came north uh (laughs) I lived five years with no electricity. I spent a year in a camper. I spent a year in a tent. You know, fantastic childhood. We but had a camper, uh, we had a shack. Ooh, <laughs> upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> At least your house I mean, was in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, when I lived five years with no electricity, is when we lived on a family farm. Growing up in Missouri, especially in the location we were in, we had a lot of Amish and Mennonite. So electricity was considered a luxury, not a necessity. So that's how my mother was able to get around that. Yeah. Anyways, but as far as the participation trophies and stuff go, no. I mean, I grew up in a very tiny school. There was only 264 people in my school, pre-K through 12. One school building. The gym separated high school and elementary. Okay. So the, the town I grew up in had 264 people in it. It took three towns and almost the whole entire county to make up my school. So I'm very tiny. I was raised very old school in that way. Um, in 2001, there was a big ice storm. I was 11, 10, 11 years old. I got told that I had to go feed the cows on an open cab tractor while it was icing. We got 18 inches of ice that year. Whew. I... Drove the tractor through the gate because obviously stuff doesn't stop on ice. When I got when, when I got back feeding the cattle, I was frozen to the tractor. My mom and her boyfriend came out at the at, came out, asked why I hadn't idled down the tractor, found out I was frozen onto it. They peeled me off, beat my ass, and then beat my ass again for running over the gate because I couldn't stop. And then I had to go fix it all in the ice still. So it was, you know, I, we, I didn't get the no ass beating, the participation trophy, anything like that. I mean, it was, I was, if anything, I would look at your parents and be like, bro, I mean, he froze himself to the tractor. Yeah. That that was (laughs) fucked up. They come out yelling at me. Like cut him a, cut him a break. I, I (laughs) I pulled the tractor into the barn and this, obviously idled up because I was in, you know, I was driving down the road. I'm legit frozen to the steering wheel. They peeled me off of the steering wheel and then beat my ass for not idling down the tractor. And it's like, you, what? And then the next day, my mom's boyfriend goes and feeds cattle, runs over the same gate because he couldn't stop on the ice. <laughs> Jesus. Did he get his ass beat? I was going to say, did you pull him up and beat his ass? <laughs> uh, he didn't get his ass beaten until I was a little later in life, but yeah. <laughs> there you go. Man, you know, like... it's it's interesting because that that's a running thread. Like I said, three of our millennial hating millennials have very all blue ran, collar all ran over gigs. Fences? Well, that too. Oh. <laughs> no, they have very blue collar gigs. I mean, <laughs> diesel technician, 
you know, uh, water utilities operator, by the way. Yeah. And, and, you know, all I think about when, when Dakota said he was frozen to the lift operator was dumb and dumber when they, <laughs> when they pee on each other. <laughs> Just go, man. Just go. Okay. Um, Do you I find that to, even in your blue colored jobs, it, I don't care who unmutes themselves to answer this, but if, well, you I'll, find I'll give everybody permission. Any of your blue collar jobs, you still have like whiners and, and, and complainers in that field, whatever it is. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really? We got people that rather just sit in a truck and watch Netflix than get out and help do some work. Mm. Wait, so Mm. you're digging sewer lines Mm -hmm. and you got your work truck with all your gear and somebody's actually sitting on the truck watching Netflix. Oh, not on. In In the truck. Sitting in the truck. truck. Oh, it's Texas. It's hot. They're 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 in the truck. They're in the air conditioner. And and has has anyone line. ever been like proposition like, hey, if you don't get out of the truck, I'm gonna I don't know, beat the shit well, out there, of you. There or... may have been some people pulled out of a truck. Atta boy. Mm. <laughs> He's not saying he did. <laughs> saying it no, what I heard. Poor... <laughs> what happened no, was no. I gotta <laughs> ask. I gotta ask, ask, ask the same thing, but Ted, what about in school? Are you, well, first of all, are you actually in physical school or are you uh, doing everything online? Right it's now? online. It's online right now. Yeah. Okay. So um, I was going to ask you if you if you are, are seeing any of that, um, like entitlement, arguing with the, you know, arguing with the teacher for the sake of just, you know, being right, all, you know, the, the things that would generally go with that, seeing if you're seeing any of that in class, but you're not in class. So there goes my question. You know, that might be sure. one of the benefits of online school is that you don't want to type to argue with the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you're doing like a Zoom thing, like you know, like yeah. we're doing now. If you're doing like That's a Zoom true. class or something, um, but yeah. How about it, Ted? Well, uh, I do notice because uh, every week we have a, an assignment where we all have to post about, like, make up a paragraph and post about a certain topic. I do notice mm-hmm. a lot of people will just like write their life story and make like a guilt trip, and then like they don't even complete the assignment. And you can just tell there's no effort there because they probably didn't, you know, have to put an effort much in life. Mm. Mm-hmm. So poor me, poor me. Oh, also, yeah. I didn't do the assignment because I'm this, that is the other thing. Oh, okay. Marco, are you yeah. teaching what? classes? Am I teaching classes? <laughs> about about oppression? No, but I, I'm like, about no, but I should. No, but I should. <laughs> um, Austin, is anybody oppressed uh, moving uh, moving around any, any uh, salad dressing over there? <laughs> Uh, the people, most of the people that drive the forklifts are uh, probably a little bit older, older, like, uh, in the fifties, uh, I'm probably okay. the youngest, uh, All right. but, but the, the people that like, uh, operate the assembly lines, they're about my age and they're kind of <laughs> iffy on working <laughs> sometimes. Mm. And you, get uh, anybody, you get anybody in the front office that's about your, anybody in the front office that's uh, about your age that you see that's kind of like fucking off or. Come, walking around and not doing shit and always complaining about not doing shit there's about two or three people in the hr department they're kind of mm-hmm. slacking on their job to be honest <laughs> um i mean they're they're not I, taking the initiative to like make it a ideal place to work at kind of um mm. right now we're kind of behind we're we're down so many people because just just because so many people don't. Nobody work. wants to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, so now um, I'm gonna let's see here. Oops, I think I hit. I'm I'm trying to push buttons. I'm fucking up. Here we go. Um, the the now the states that you guys are in is there still the like the the extra money for um oh. the unemployment and like the extra you know no, in, basically the incentive that. to what's that? They Texas? just ended it in Texas. Okay. They were getting an extra six hundred a week, and I and now they're not. like, nope, you you're going back to your normal unemployment. I think it's still. I'm I'm in Indiana. I think it's still here, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. I I never quit working. I I never stopped. I I didn't change my life in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So I, I I don't really pay much attention to that. <laughs> well, I know that that uh, governor, uh, what's her shit name in Michigan, Gretchen, whatever her name is, Whitmer. Whitmer, yeah, she's she's basically doing the thing now where 
He wants people to, you know, go back to work part time and then we'll still give you some extra money as well. So right. <laughs> work part time and still suck on the government's tit for a little bit. Half ass <laughs> measures. Half yeah. ass. Yeah. Half, we never stop assery. working. It's yeah. got to keep flowing. Yeah, literally. Literally. I, I imagine yeah. see, that, that's what's funny. When you said that you you uh you know were working half days, I thought, wow, with everybody like kind of you know on the initial lockdown, you'd think that there would be more um you know knuckleheads flushing the non-flushable wipes and oh, yeah. causing backups and and oh shit like yeah that. it was it's ridiculous we would end up getting sent home and then having to get called back i'm like what was know. everyone doing with that fucking to- toilet paper then yeah you know like, right the where f- did it all go <laughs> oh it went down the sewers of <laughs> the suburb of dallas <laughs> <laughs> oh man shit. see well, this is what i don't get i don't understand I'm starting to see a little bit of it more in my new job in the private sector. Um, I don't understand how supervisors and management, people who are in charge of others, don't have serious come to Jesus chats with their subordinates and be like, um, we need to have a talk about your uh, work output or rather lack of work output because your ass better get in line or hit the bricks. Now I get it in the last year. Now that nobody wants to work, that's what they've successfully done by handing out free money to everybody for, right. you know, a year and a half and, and mm-hmm. extending the national debt to my great grandchildren. Um, but I, you know, before that, even, well, I, I think before understand. that we were, we were already, snowballing down this path of uh words matter more than actions now and you can't you have to be careful what you say to somebody because you know you can't be as you know a, aggressively supervisory with your subordinates because then they get their feelings hurt and oh you know so and so is attacking me and and now i feel triggered and i don't feel safe in this place and you know we start getting with all that shit and, and uh, I think that's just, you know, a, a more and more of a problem lately. Lack of accountability. There we go. Well, and that's, there's no consequences. There's, mm, they, everybody gets to claim victim status. Mm-hmm. You know, it, you can't, mm-hmm. this is, I, I yeah, I, I, I've, well, I've looked at this in so many factors of life. And I just keep telling people everything, everything you get to decide every morning when you wake up, when your feet hit the floor. Everything you do that day is Absolutely. your decision. Yep. Everything right. you do that day is your and decision. And you get to decide how you're going to react to whatever comes yeah. your way in that day. How you feel mm-hmm. about it may not be your decision. Yeah. What you think For about sure. it may not be your decision because those things come naturally based on our childhood and based on you know, our opinions about people. But how you behave, what you physically do, right. that is right. all on you. you. You know what else <clears throat> comes naturally? Um, would be like, I don't know, kind of like wrapping things up after about an hour of chit chatting with everybody. So I think now would be a... <laughs> that, that was it. That was the close. That was the wrap. That was, that was it, man. That's your... Wow. Uh, oh, well, that just brought us, I guess, taking it in for landing. All right. Well, <laughs> well, we're coming in. We're coming in. We're coming in hot. You know, we're just uh, yes. really? there's, deep there's... approach angle. I, I'm guessing we're running out of time. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're we're getting about to that point. I'm supposed to, be, you know. So look, don't ask me to be the timekeeper and then call me the asshole when I keep the time and say, "Hey, no, 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 we didn't call you the asshole. We just said your segue was shit. Like, well, that yeah, was that yeah, was yeah, shit. Yeah. Well, you know what? Well, first of all, fuck you guys because I got no attaboys for my previous amazingly stellar on point segues that just got like whatever. I didn't even get credit for them. It was just once like, again, oh, yeah, like you didn't mean well, to do that. Once again, that is attention Matt at yeah, locker room yeah. mailbag at gmail.com. <laughs> send it, send all it your on rants. over. Send, send, hey, send all you your know, rants over. You know, we didn't get a single email about you getting the jab. I thought for sure. I thought for sure somebody was like, I can't believe Mark was getting the fucking jab. Not a single one. So so kudos yeah, to our to our listeners for, hey, for does, not being does, do metal objects stick to your injection site like like you see on the interwebs? Wait, no, what? but I, I'm I'm uh um I'm getting close to feeling like powder. So uh, I think I'm gonna lose yeah. my hair really quick. I'm yep. turn, you know, bright white and uh, Metallica guy, Metallica guy. 
Outer. 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 It's, 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 a, it's a movie. Just You don't have to watch the whole thing. It's a, kind, of, kind of drawn out. Yeah, you really don't just, have to watch the whole thing. No, just watch just, the trailer. Just, you'll get it. Cliff notes. Yeah. yeah, trailer. YouTube the trailer. You're good. I'm not, I'm not saying sit down and hope, you know. Yeah. Spoiler alert. In the end, he kind of poofs and just goes bye-bye. Right? Doesn't wow. he? Like, 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 what? The guy, <laughs> you just told me to watch the whole thing. Don't, don't watch anything. <laughs> don't bother. Matt just took care of it. Don't bother. Don't even look it up. Matt just took care of it for you. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Hey, leave us a, you can also leave us a voicemail on our handy dandy phone number. Yeah. That oh, phone shit. Number. What? Speaking, speaking of which, did we get, I forgot, to, I, I dropped the ball. I totally forgot to Holy ask you. Shit. If no there's... segue in the cutoff. Go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Um, We're, we're raw dogging it tonight. Um, so oh, oppression, <laughs> <laughs> oppression, oppression. Uh, there was a, there was another gentleman that couldn't make it due tonight due to his work schedule, but I said, Hey, you know, leave us a, a voicemail Ooh, and bullshit. you'll get to he say your piece. What's that? <laughs> bullshit. He got arrested. He, he got arrested. It was his minority report. <laughs> he knew he was going to get arrested a, a week <laughs> into the future. <laughs> I mean, but, um, nowadays so we'll get to that voicemail next talking. week. Yeah, we'll do it next week because I I forgot okay. to tell you to kind of screen them. We don't really screen them. We just fucking play. So, them. Okay, mm-hmm. let's see. But let's that, go back that in order. Number let's is get... oh number yes. The number is Eric code six fucking two everything six. up tonight. You know what? Fuck the number. Just email Matt. <laughs> <laughs> <It's Eric Code. laughs> I put it's the Eric number Code. on the I put the number on the Facebook page and on the uh, Instagram page. So it's there in the silenced. It's one eight hundred silenced the beaner. That's what it is. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was eight six six. Um, eat a dick. Eat a dick. Right. That's it. Eat a dick. Okay. All right. So, so we're gonna bring everybody actual, back in. The actual phone number. Okay. Ooh, the phone number. Here we go. Is here it is. Hold on, guys. Get your pen. Six nine two. Five one. Fuck you. Two two. <laughs> <laughs> So as we go through, uh, we wanted to give you guys each a chance to like close out with whatever you want to say. You got about 30 seconds. Dakota. So basically what I want to close with is these kids that think that they're entitled to everything and think that they can just skate through life and not do any hard work are so wrong that it's not even funny. That's the problem with this country. And that's one of the reasons why we're going downhill the way we are is everybody thinks that they're entitled to everything. Life doesn't give you a participation trophy. Life's going to bend you over multiple times. Get used to it and move on and make the best of it. Fuck yeah. Sucks. Well Get a said. Helmet. Well said. Uh, well said. Thank life you, sounds Dakota. like my fucked up ex-girlfriend. Anyways, that story should yeah. be next. Oh, yeah, it does sound like your, your <laughs> fucked up ex-girlfriend. All right, story. What did you want to say? I just want to say thanks for having me on. And uh, the thing that really terrifies me is all these people in my generation are the ones that are going to keep the keep the repopulating and it scares the shit out of me and i'm just glad well, that i, I mean, won't be around for it <laughs> you do have a lot of your generation that don't see the point in having kids which is why i well, tell my smart good. friends i tell all my smart friends you have to have children because only the stupid people are breeding yes right. it, exactly. idiocracy <laughs> and uh, if you want anything in life you got to earn it it ain't gonna fall out of the sky and land on your plate hell yeah yeah no matter what hell instagram yeah. Hey, tells you hell yeah and I want to take I want to take a moment to say that I, I appreciate the subtle flex of the background that Story had to put up there. That, well, that, oh yeah, that's, uh, that I'm put a smile on my face. When I, that's I right. couldn't sit in the house because I don't get service in my house because I live out in the middle of bumfuck Egypt. So <laughs> I had to sit outside oh. in the truck. Right on. <laughs> Sometimes right I have on. to sit outside in the truck just to get a little peace and quiet. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> I would say I go into the bathroom to try to find that, but with a two and a four year old, that's not knock happening. Knock on the damn door. No, they, right. they, they are fucking smart velociraptors. They have figured out how to open the door. What are you doing? You don't like Daddy, it? Daddy's taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Daddy's doing. Lock the Daddy's door, Marco. Fuck, shit. <laughs> all right. Shit. Uh, Austin, Austin, we'll Austin. Over to you. Uh, is it all right if I do a shout out? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Hit it. Right. Put it out um, there. I'm going to do a shout out to my uh, stepdad. He's the reason I am raised to hate my own generation to be honest he just mm-hmm. raised me right he spanked my ass when it needed um he just taught me everything that i knew know today and i just appreciate him what's his name right what's on. his name um his name's steve 
Steve. Good job, Steve. Yeah, that's how it's he's, done. He's like 65, so he's fantastic. Uh, You're doing good work, buddy. Steve. That yeah. is how it's done. You're doing the Lord's work. When 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 a boy doesn't have a father, you step in and you provide that fatherness. <laughs> that, that fatherness has will be this once that's in a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a hug. Sometimes thank, it's well, a thanks for, for Carrot thanks for coming baby. in with us tonight, Austin. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no thanks problem. for being yeah. here, man. And of course, um, uh, yes. last but certainly not least, your boy Ted. Uh, we wanted to give you a chance to say something as we close out. Go ahead. Uh, what really drives me nuts is the competitive victimization. Everyone's in competition to be the bigger victim in Ooh, yeah. life when they can't change things in their life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Compe- I, Speak on the brother. I like that. Competitive victimization. Wait, hold on. Are you wearing a jingly bracelet, Marco? What the yeah, fuck? What is when going you were on? clapping, it was like, no, no, no. I, I do hear it. Like, again. There's the, I hear it. Oh wait, was it the pen? No. no, it was like jingling. It's like you got like some fucking like maracas in oh, your fucking dude. It's his beard rubbing against this microphone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a goddamn tambourine. Yeah, it sounds like maracas or something. <laughs> Why does everything with me got to be about maracas and, and tequila? And you know what? Oh, sorry, maracas. I'm done with this. All right, that's, 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 maracas. That's uh, that's an explanation right. that's already given. There's no explanation needed for that. <laughs> Why is it always maracas? Seriously, for the same reason you rode a turtle and eat, ate iguana. Hey, listen. First of all, iguana is delicious. And Pepe, Pepe, that Pepe, Pepe the, the turtle, turtle got me here. Rest nice in peace. Safe to the States. I, I didn't have to cross the river. Hey, that motherfucker probably still I alive. Those turtles live a long ass time. Like, like hell, over 100 years? Yeah, for sure. That motherfucker's still cruising somewhere. Well, it depends on how old he was when you rode his ass up here, too. He was young. Okay, Who's Sprite? Who's Sprite? Who's Sprite? Sprite? Turtle. I can't get over the sound that fucking microphone is making on your ear. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Yeah, over sorry, here. my my, uh, my Holy connection shit. to my uh, the connection to my uh, to my regular microphone died out. So I'll do this. I'll, I'll hold it out here. Fucking god. That's all right. All right. Are we done? I think we're done. I think the we're wheels done, done fell off show? this fucking shit show. Uh, all right. <laughs> but you know what? I, I want to appreciate I, I, all felt all four of the fellas coming on and and saying this. It gives me hope. It gives me faith. Uh, it you know these are just regular dudes that are out there, you know, making it work, taking care of their family, earn earning yeah. their money, you know, and they're they're gonna sounds like they're gonna be raising kids the right way. Those right. kids are gonna be raising kids the right way, and too many people nowadays just expect. You know, like my son, I had to explain to him. He's, I said, what are you going to do when you grow up? He's 16. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to have a YouTube show. I'm going to be a YouTube star. Like, okay, that's great. And so when what he you woke up after the you smacked the shit out of him, yeah, I was going to say, when he, when he woke up after you backhanded him, then what yeah. did he say? <laughs> and he's like, no, you can make money at it right away. And I was like, you know, the podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Short yeah. of selling your ass on the interwebs. <laughs> you, right. It's kind of hard to make money on it. No, but yeah. I, I want to say that I, this, this whole episode has restored my uh, faith in humanity as far as the, the millennial generation, because the, let's face it, the, the millennial generation, and a lot of people are getting millennials confused with, with this latest generation, which is the, the Gen Z, Z or Z, Zoomers. Z, Z, I think they're calling Z, them Zoomers yeah. now. <laughs> Um, but uh, the, oh, no, Gen know, Z is nothing like millennials, man. I'm like, they're just a, they're they're going to be the next Gen X. You, know? you think so? Because I I don't I we're going to have to talk about that because I I would beg to differ. Yeah, I'm, yeah, but I'm 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 on the fence about that. They're, they're more religious and they're more conservative. If you can believe it or not, the 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 Gen not, Z, not, yeah, they not, seem to not be not more who's in my fucking by, chair. Well, well, well done, yeah, I'm gonna say some of the some of the uh, okay. ones that I come across on, on the daily at work are just. I have one yeah, more question, yeah, same. and maybe Dakota can answer this. Maybe he can't, but I just want to know how often do you get mistaken for the guy from Fast and Loud? <laughs> Ooh, that one I haven't. I haven't gotten that one. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you can't see him, but he's got this epic beard and the very kind of like angular features. He looks like the Aaron Co- Aaron Kaufman. The Aaron, mechanic Aaron, Aaron Kaufman. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yep. We totally. we did have a guy that worked at our shop that I mean could almost be his body double, and it was he he was not a big fan of that. And the thing <laughs> is, they were both fabricators and everything, so it was like it was truly a body double, and he did not like being compared to him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I. 
uh, you know, God, you can't help who God makes you look like, right? Just ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true story. Right. All right, guys. Well, well, I shit, was going to mention somebody uh, by name, and I realized I probably shouldn't. <laughs> no, you probably shouldn't. Uh, real quickly, before we shut out, uh, I like to thank you guys for coming on, and thank you guys for doing what you're doing. Yeah, seriously. You know what I'm saying? It, it's difficult. It's difficult to you know to rise to the top when you're basically surrounded by shit. Um, yeah. a, What's the saying? saying? It's uh, it's it's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. That's mm, right. Yeah. You know, right. you guys are well, definitely it's, hard. like, it's harder when you guys you're are. You guys are definitely the rose among thorns. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing and pass on, pass on what you guys know, um, to the people that want to listen and the people that want to, you know, as we say hundreds, of, hundreds of times on the show, iron sharpens iron. So That's right. stick to, stick to you, stick to your kind, stick to the people that you, you know, hold values with. Uh, and, uh, keep, just keep doing it. And thanks for listening. First and foremost, yeah, thanks for listening and thanks for your time for coming on because we know yeah. it's late, at least for us. Yep. For, uh, couple of us and until Appreciate our it. next episode we will see you in the locker, locker room, see you in locker room.